Hi fellows! In this video, we will learn how to use a texture 2D as a normal into a material. For this lesson, I am using two assets from the marketplace. Watermill Environment by Silver T. Aim and Ilgat Brush Pack that was released a couple of weeks ago. If you need more painting brushes and if you want to support Praxinus work, this pack is perfect. So, let's start with the basics. First, I will add a simple cube. Then I create a material. I drag and drop the material onto the cube in order to automatically update further changes. Now I double-click on the material to open it and I will add a vector parameter to give this cube a color. Ok, everything's good. Now I will add a texture sample parameter 2D. I could have also used a simple texture sample, both are ok in this example. And obviously, I need a texture 2D, so I have to create it. I'll go back to my content brother, I do a right-click, Iliad Texture. In this panel, I will change the name of my texture and I will also add a purple background. Ok, I return to my material to load the newly created texture. Since this texture will be used as a normal, I have to change its sampler type to normal. A beginner could think everything's ok now, but if we connect the RGB output to the normal input, we will have an error warning. This comes from the compression settings of the texture that has to be changed as well to correspond to the sampler type. To do so, we can either double-click on the texture to display Unreal Default Editor and modify the compression settings to Normal Map, or we can make a right-click on the texture to edit it with Iliad and proceed with the same changes through the panel Texture Details. For the recall, texture details can be found in the top menu window. So I change the compression settings to normal map, and I will change the mipmap settings to no mipmap. If you don't know why I'm doing this, you should see my previous tutorial. So I save my texture, I go back to the material, which still displays the error, so I break the link between both nodes and I reconnect them. There, no more errors. I can finally save my material and paint on my normal. When painting on a normal texture, you should use only normal brushes. In Ilya Default Pack, there are two normal brushes, and in the additional pack from the marketplace, you will find 21 normal brushes with many different settings – various tints, bump or dig results, light distance, size, etc. Ok, so now I delete my cube, I copy my texture sample node, and I will apply it to the ground of this map. I open its material instance, then its material, and I paste my texture sample there. I connect it to the input normal, I apply, and here is the result. Ok, that's terrible. Let's play a little more with our texture to make something better. I will work with the normal airbrush to make the ground a little more muddy. Let me do some tests. Oh, you might notice this brush won't allow me to make a seamless texture because as soon as I paint on the limits of the canvas, it makes a visible seam on the ground. I must change that and to do so, I will double-click on the Odyssey brush to open its blueprint. This blueprint uses nodes Stamp, which I will replace by nodes Looping Stamp. I will connect all same nodes to looping stamp. I will also tick booleans like tie horizontally and vertically and the anti-aliasing. And I will also add a self reference to both nodes looping stamp. I compile the blueprint and if I draw on the canvas, now my brush lets me paint a seamless texture. Now I've got all I need to edit the normal of the ground. I can play with the layer opacity to get a different result. Perfect! Uh, let's toggle the layers display to compare. 
It's a small change, but it makes a whole difference. Now, the big question you might ask is, can I use the viewport drawing editor to paint on a normal texture? And the answer is, it depends. If you follow this tutorial, you won't be able to edit the normal from the viewport drawing editor. It comes from the fact that changing compression settings from default to normal map affects the sampler type of the texture in the material. Instead of color or linear color, it becomes normal and sadly, it won't allow you to edit that sampler type with the viewport editor. However, there is a way to get around this problem. To do so, we're going to use a material instance. A material instance is like a simplified version of a material, for it just gives you an access to a couple of settings without having to deal with a spaghetti monster. One material can be used as a base for many material instances. This is the case with this environment. All props use the same material as a base, but each props has its own material instance. So let's modify the material I created earlier. First of all, I have to add a new texture 2D as a normal base. I don't need it to be large, so I type small width and height, and I choose purple background. I open it to change the compression settings to normal map. Then I duplicate the other texture I created earlier. I rename the copy to distinguish it from the original texture and I open it to change the compression settings to default. I open the material and delete the texture sample. I select the texture base normal and normal default compression from the content browser to drag and drop them to the material. I will then do a right click to convert them both to a parameter and I will give them a name. I connect normal base to the input normal and for normal to edit, I have to connect it to any input if I want to edit it later. So I'm just going to cheat and add the white color at the top to the node normal to edit. And I plug the result in the input roughness. Obviously, depending on the results you want to achieve, you might need different combination of nodes. I save my material, which will update my cube Cube gets full white since the normal is just a plain neutral blue purplish texture. Now we're going to create a material instance from this material with a right click. I open the new asset and in the parameters on the right, I can enable the normal base and normal to edit by ticking the corresponding checkboxes. Now in the category normal base, I can load the texture normal default compression which will allow me to use this texture as a normal map even if its compression settings are default. I can now drag and drop the material instance onto the cube and I can enable the Elliot mode in Unreal viewport. Oops, I have to close the texture first. I quit Iliad mode and activate it again to update the result and here you can see we can finally access to the normal texture thanks to this whole trick. And it's working great! Then you can repeat the process to any other material. Thank you very much for following this video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and love each other. If you want to support Praxinos and our work, you can also tip us on Patreon. And if there is any topic you would like me to deal with in a video, please leave a comment. Bye!